PF, you don't understand. PF is a terrorist organization. If you don't know, I'm telling you, you don't treat them with, uh, you you don't treat them with uh, with gloves. No, they will mess you up. Up as we are talking now, they have bought lawyers, they have bought the judges, they have bought. They will frustrate you until you give up. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean, from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Savage. Hi, lovely viewers. It's me again, your one and only Mtatim Pundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. What is happening? What is, what is, what, what is really going on? Is this what? One is getting to one year. And PF ambassadors are there in Dubai throwing party. Other, they, are, they are in different countries enjoying. And people, even themselves, they are shocked. What is going on? Who is giving you this advice, Mr. President? Eh? Who is, who is giving you this advice? Why are you treating PF like... You, you had a covenant with them. You should have told us. Eh? If you know that you cannot you cannot be able to persecute them. Tell us, persecute them. Tell us we we, we beg them now. Nah. Us that we are calling them uh, 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 satanists. Us that we are branding them. We, we apologize to them. Because it seems that they are innocent. Eh? It seems that they are innocent. Eh? If these guys are not going to jail, a man that tried to bring down your plane, a man that wanted you to die on air, is still moving around. Is even having the audacity to campaign. And you say, I've brought a new dawn. I've brought freedom. About freedom for what? You don't give Satan freedom. Please. You don't give Satan freedom. You don't. PF criminals, they are they now they are if even when you see them on the road, they are they are working with power, they are working with alacrity because they have sorted their ways already. I'm telling you the gospel, they have already they have all the loopholes they have sealed. Look at uh Talu. Tilufia Titalu that had high BP when he lost the election. He was fired by Eddie Galungu, the, the papa of corruption fired somebody because of corruption can you imagine if a papa of corruption can fire somebody because of corruption you know that that one is a corruption plus 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 he fired the man and the man was hiding after the election he was hiding he was shivering today has the guts to sue you your government that you lied against him because of what see the hand you have given to them See, the hand you have given to them. Anybody can wake up and talk rubbish. Anyone can wake up and disrespect you. And they are, they are going free of charge. Uh, we are even tired. Me, myself, I see a one. Um, when you see me, I don't talk. It's because I respect you. I trust your ability to do the right thing. To put people where they belong. But what is happening? What is happening? Freedom is not for everybody. There are people that are supposed to be in prison today. And you give them freedom. Then you carry... You, 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 you take away the freedom of people that are supposed to, 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 to have freedom. And you say... And you say... Everything is okay. The people that are advising you that everything is okay, they are liars. They are, they are criminals. What Zambia want from you? I know that you are trying so hard to bring back the economy. You are trying very hard to make the economy okay. But sir, let me tell you, in the fight of corruption, you have lost it completely. 
Just look what happened when there is an announcement that somebody has been arrested. Go and see what the youths are commenting. They said, ah, it ends in arrest. They have lost trust. From the day faith was acquitted without even no no single trial, no nothing. You just collected the money and the enter in agreement to have few. From that day, even myself, I started losing trust in corruption. On that area, you must wake up. If it's your police, your IG, Inspector General of Police, is quiet. It doesn't it's not fit to be in that position. He cannot manage PF people. I think you must retire him send him as an ambassador if you love him so much bring a brutal somebody somebody that can deal with pf pf you don't understand pf is a terrorist organization if you don't know i'm telling you you don't treat them with uh you, you don't treat them with uh, with gloves no they will mess you up up as we are talking now they have bought lawyers they have bought the judges they have bought they will frustrate you until you give up you don't need an ig like this one this one what is wrong with these guys do you think that you, you are in a church or in a crusade you are ruling a country there are people that are supposed to go to prison you didn't learn something from eddie galungu eddie galungu how many times did he throw you into prison there was a day you were arrested that night. They came and broke your house. My friend, in case you are doing it to please people, to show people that you are a good person, we know that you are a good person. Before we started supporting you, we know that you are a good person. But that goodness must have limit. It must have limit. It must, it must have limit. If not, they will mess up things for you. And when they mess up things for you, you will cry. You will lose the election. Tonight, I have I have started. I have mentioned how many people have I mentioned today? Three people. Number one, his name is Mr. Stanley, your Minister of Foreign Affairs. It's a it's a corrupt human being. There was a deal that he went to sign with the PF. In case you didn't hear me, I'm not going to say it again go back in this video from the beginning and listen and hear what i said it's a corrupt human being number two i spoke about the mr machila i don't know if he's your senior private secretary what what at state house that man is the reason why you are not getting feedback from the people on the background they are the people telling you that you are everything is okay Everything is not okay. Youths of Zambia are talking about corruption. That no, we are not the high cost of living, high cost of petrol, and so on and so forth. That one everyone understands. I can come here and explain to the people, and they will understand that it's global, even here in Nigeria. But on corruption, they are saying that you are losing it. You are not losing it because you're a corrupt man. I trust you, President Echet. You are losing it because the people that are surrounding surrounding you are corrupt wake up and do something about it all of you have left the corrupt fight for mrs chewa she's a woman you see all those things she's jumping up and down and down she'll be quiet very soon she'll be tired and she will rest nothing is going to come out of it if you really want to fight corruption you must all be involved unfortunately majority of your leaders your ministers are corrupt your minds minister is a jagaban of corruption your copper belt minister that one is not just corrupt that one his name is corruption i don't say from without and i don't fear i don't even care what people say about me or what is it i tell you the truth how it goes i've mentioned how many people and i told you that this man that you call yourself alliance alliance for what you didn't need any alliance to win election because the youths were already willing to vote for you okay because of that alliance you have had mercy and they brought in mutati mutati is already destroying your party as we are talking to you mutati is having structural meeting with his people he had three solid structural meetings with his people. You are serving under UPND. 
why are you having the the good of your party at heart more than this the, the the president and the party that you are serving eh i've mentioned these people and i will be coming like i said tomorrow i'm going to resign from the service so that i can be able to fight i don't want tomorrow government will start disturbing me to say you are how can you fight you are you are you are in government and you are fighting government. I don't want that. I want to fight the way I fought Eddie Galungu. It's the way I want to fight. And I'm ready for this. I have spoken to you, Mr. President, my president, the president that I love the most. The youths of Zambia are not happy. Your SG, Mr. Imenda, I have so much respect for him. But it's a... Uh, it's too old you know it's very old for that because you know what he's doing is going throughout the country from from this place to this place gathering old Finnish politicians and bringing them into the party party does not grow like that party only grows when the youths are happy if there is anything that you are going to do for the youths do it going to gather this person from pf uh, that person has defected that person has defected. they don't have any meaning if they had meaning why did the pf lose the election if they were so important and could contribute to, 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 to a political party why did the pf lose the election that is not priority the priority now is not actually bringing old finished politicians the same people that we are tormenting the people of Zambia, bringing them into the party that people of Zambia have hope for. That is not, that's not growing the party. Growing the party happens when the youths are happy. The youths must be happy. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I'm telling you. So, try your possible best to make the youths happy. It's, I'm not even talking about creating job for them. I know that you're already working on that. I trust you when it comes to economy recovery. HH, I can sleep. You wake me up at midnight. I will tell you that HH is number one. I trust you on that. But corruption, your, your ministers are corrupt. PSCs are corrupt. They are now working with PF government. Those people that suffered for you are, are crying, are hungry. This is politics. Politics is is all about you wash my hand, I wash your hand. The people that are eating with you now will not tell you the truth. People like Anthony, Anthony Wilder, Anthony will tell you everything is okay. Wow, you are loved. When you go out on the street, few people wave their hands. Hey, they also did like that to Eddie Galungu. But on the ground, people are crying. People are in pain. They don't know what is going on. I'm telling you because Petro, they don't know what is going on. And you are not the problem. The only problem you have are the people. I have one. This one is number one. Mr. Uh, uh, Machila. That one that is with you day and night that tells you what to do. It's a, it's a, it's a rotten human being. Get rid of him if you can. If not, tell him to give access to people to come and meet you, to come and talk to you. There are people that want to talk to you. Open state house for intellectuals. Open state house, you know, sometimes I'll talk to people like uh, Pilato. Talk to people, you may think, ah, who is Pilato? Talk to people like, uh, uh, what is his name? Uh, Biflo. Talk to, 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 the guys, to the guys who are driving the youths. Ask them, as a president, ask them, what is it that the youth want? Forget about those criminals and hyenas around you that just want to eat, covering, they don't want anybody to enter, as if they are the only ones that campaign for you. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.